Hello everyone and welcome to Market Lab with Raja. Today is 9th of July 2020. Well, I am a trading influencer and I'm also the co-founder of Neo Trader and I'm happy to share my knowledge and trading skills with so many people out there. I've been doing this every day and now I have also started the live markets and my only endeavor is to enable people to innovate and trade so that they can make money consistently. So now coming down to today's session, we had discussed in yesterday's market wrap that markets have been showing some hesitation. But then today, as we saw, the markets quickly recovered and uh, they moved well. So let's now go down to the most interesting chart amongst the indices, which is the bank nifty. And you can see here the way bank nifty has poised. So if you recall yesterday, I had shown you a chart of bank nifty I had shown you on the intraday. Let me just I'm today I'm directly going to the intraday chart and you can see here the intraday chart which is being shown to you is uh, we have seen that the fall, the rise which had begun and the fall which happened, it exactly came to 50% of retracement support. and. From there on, the markets have revived quite well with a nice upward gap. So we use the help of two Fibonacci retracement. You can see here. So the bigger retracement. And then we drew a retracement from this gap support which happened. So there was this gap, gap here which was created on 6th of July. The prices dipped down into this gap. And from there on, sharp move to the upside, profit booking into the 50% support zone around 25,560 and from there the prices are once again gapped up. So now looking into tomorrow what could be the forecast and what are we going to look at let's go ahead and take a look at those kind of setups here you can see here this is the intraday chart of bank nifty and what you can see is a nice consolidation which was there in the morning and then towards the end of the day, the whole rise which is there on an expiry date. You have to treat this with some bit of caution. It is once again near the prior highs around uh, 23,000 mark. And we need to take this a with a little bit of caution. And unless these levels are crossed right now, you should be looking at pullbacks to buy into. So yes, we had identified the pullback zone. The pullback zone now is revised to around 22,700 mark. So 22,700 mark would be a nice pullback zone tomorrow to watch out for. And it, if it happens on the bank nifty, would be a good indication to buy. Why am I saying that? Because I see that on the higher time frame. This is the higher time frame chart of bank nifty. And you can see here that the continuous support which the bank nifty is taking you can clearly identify that the overall prices is looking to head up and we could now experience some positive traction on the bank nifty so overall setup looks positive so tomorrow we can expect some positive traction even if there is a dip unless the 22700 zone is not sacrificed right at the start of the day so now let's go down to the nifty this is the nifty intraday chart and you can see here right now the supports which are emerging we have drawn this retracement from the 23rd june low and now from the gap area you can see this gap the top area of the gap is well defended and you can around the 10700 zone was a constant support area it happened on 6th of july it happened again on 7th of july then yesterday was 8th of July again the dip into the same zone so this support has paved a very very important upward drive so now we need to see whether these levels are going to hold in the coming sessions so you can see your nice upward gap once again and prices are once again challenging the higher levels around 10,850 now around 10,850 is definitely an important zone and if nifty were to cross that we could see it header heading much higher so now let's go and take a look at the daily chart and find out what is there on the nifty so you can see here the nifty is moving in a channel formation so now it is reaching to the upper end of the channel which is around 10850 so the supports to watch out for is 10700 
on the nifty so let's go and take a look at the daily chart also you see here these are the daily charts of nifty and this the daily chart of nifty continues to test the upper bounds at 10850 overall picture continues to be positive but then yes there is a bit of hesitation so if you were to see this i have used the concept of pitch fork and you can see here right now the median line rests somewhere around 10850 so 10850 zone is a very important zone to watch out for so once uh, we reach there we need to see at least a 15 minute candle above that zone for us to get a nice intraday perspective so till then we'll be uh, alert we we'll look for pullbacks in the indices to be a buyer so the levels in nifty are around 10700 the levels in bank nifty are around 22700 so all the levels are cut out 22700 and 10700 on both the major indices that is the level which we will be tracking and i'll be covering more updates along with some stock setups in the market slide thank you for watching this video do share and subscribe to our channel do share this video with as many people as possible because i am analyzing the markets every day so that you can get a nice perspective get the key levels and go out there and trade thank you for watching this video have a good day